Today I'm going to show you how I teach day and night on earth to my students. This is a flashlight and that's the globe. And what I tell my students, the flashlight is the sun and the globe is our earth. Now I tell my students that the globe is a model of the earth. Now we cannot bring the earth to the classroom because the earth is huge. So we have the globe which represents the earth and this is the sun. Now the earth, if you can see, is a little bit tilted and the earth keeps spinning like a top. Do you know what a top is? Yeah, the earth keeps spinning like a top but the sun stays constant. So the part of the earth that faces the sun is going to have daytime whereas the part of the earth that is away from the sun and is facing space is going to have nighttime. So if you look right here, right now the people in South America, it's daytime for them. So the little kids, they're going to school and it's, it's daytime. Whereas the, the children in Asia, it's nighttime in Africa. They are sleeping because there's no sun on that side, so it's nighttime. But then as I said, the sun doesn't move, the earth keeps spinning. So as it moves, now you see that children in Africa and Asia, they're going to school. It's daytime for them whereas children in South America and North America is sleeping. They are sleeping. It's nighttime for them. And that's how we have night and day on our earth. 